Good morning, my math friend. You can see my crazy little hat today. Today is actually hat day at our school, so I decided to wear my nerdy emoji. I like it. It's funny. All right, guys, <laughs> let's get started. Today we are on lesson 25. So let's see what we've got going on today. Lesson 25 says, oh, sorry, I'm trying to move myself out of the way so I can read it. I can add a pair of two digit numbers when the ones digit have a sum less or equal to 10. Now guys, we've been doing this. We remember we start in the ones place, we add them up and then we start to the tens place and add them up. We've been breaking them apart with number bonds and we put tens and ones and we've been doing all kinds of stuff. So let's get started with what we need to do today. Now, warming our brains up, our application problem is gonna come first. So let me grab my other hat. I just wore this detective hat all day today, couldn't I? Huh? It's okay. I like my nerdy hat. All right, friends, look at the bottom. It says use the RDW to solve. We have to read, draw, and write. Read, draw, and write. Let's see if we can do all three of those. There we go. Move this down a little bit so you can see. All right. A chipmunk hides 11 acorns under a tree. Later, he gives five of the acorns to his friend. How many acorns does the chipmunk have? We've read. Now let's go back and draw. A chipmunk hides 11 uh, acorns under a tree. Is this gonna be a part or a hole? It's gonna be a part, so let's draw a part, ready? 11, you know what? I'm gonna draw quick tens and ones for 11. Yeah. Yeah. There's 11. I can even write 11 right there. Later, he gives five of the acorns to his friends. Hmm. If he's giving something away, that means we have to take away five, minus five. Now, we probably shouldn't have used quick tens and ones because we can't take five without breaking apart our 10 into 10 ones. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make our 10 into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's our 10 into 10 ones. I left it in the line so it still looks like 10 because I'm still showing 11. Now let's take five of those away. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna just take five away. How many do I have left? Five, six. I can also draw 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and that makes 11. Then I can mark out 5. This is what's left. Still 6, okay? Now, the question says, how many acorns does a chipmunk have? The chipmunk. As how many did we say? Six acorns left. Now, did I draw? I drew two different ones. I drew this one and this one. So we did draw. Did we write? Look, I've got a number sentence and a statement. The chipmunk has six acorns left because I answered the question, how many acorns does the chipmunk have? The chipmunk has six acorns left. So we did right. So did we solve our problem? Yeah, we did. All right, so we can take off our detective hat. Still got my nerdy hat on. And we can erase the board because we have solved the problem. Yay! All right, friends, let's go on down. We're still going to warm up our brains, but this morning you're going to warm up your brain by going into Google Classroom and doing a sprint. You know the dr drill with that one? You set your timer for two minutes. See how many you can get done correctly. Guys, I don't care if you get them all done. I want to see how many you can get done correctly. And I need you to be careful because look what we're trying to find. <gasps> we're not finding the hole today. We're finding a part, so be careful, okay? Two minutes, you're either gonna get A or B. They're both there, 
I don't know which one you're going to get. Guess we'll see. Okay. Go look. Go do it. Two minutes. How many you can get done correctly. When you're ready, come back to me. You can pause here and go do that now. When you come back, we are going to be working with Miss Duckett. I have to get my basket of goodies. She's going to tell you we need pens, sticks today, some linking cubes. Remember, you're going to need four groups of 10 if you have them. If you don't have them, what are we going to do? We're going to draw it out with quick tens and ones. Or we're going to draw it out with something else. Or you're going to look on the video with mine, okay? But I want you to be working as we do it. So pause your video. Go work on your sprint. When you're ready, unpause. Come back to me. Let's go. All right. I'm ready to start with our video with Ms. Duckett today. I hope you're ready. You got your board. You got your marker. You got an eraser. I'm just using a tissue. If you have 10 sticks, get them. If not, you know me, draw it out. When in doubt, draw it out. I'm gonna turn my board this way so you can see it a little better. Move this stuff out of the way and let's get going. Hey, Miss Duckett. It's Miss Duckett here, ready to guide you to another math lesson. I'm so excited to learn with you all today. Today, we are going to be adding two digit numbers. We're smart. On the screen to the left, you will see the materials that you will need for today's lesson. Go ahead and press pause to gather what you'll need, and I'll be right here waiting when you get back. I feel like when we pause, we should be playing the Jeopardy thing. You're back. Are you ready to get started? Yes, we're ready. If you are, let me hear you say, Ooh, oh, yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I love hearing you guys say that. Well, mathematicians, let's get started. Do you all remember when we worked with our friend Sasha mm -hmm. to solve 24 plus 13? Yep. What strategy did we use? We used take a moment to think. Take from 10 or take 10, add 10. Number bonds. If you Number were bonds. thinking that we used the adding 10s first adding strategy, 10, that's what it was. Nice work. We did it. Take a moment to refresh your memory by looking at this thought bubble. Go ahead and do that now. <laughs> when I say independent, you say work. Independent? Work. Independent? Work. <laughs> Mathematicians, it is time for some independent work. I want you to solve 26 plus 13 equals something using your personal white. Let's words. write that down. I want you to make sure that you use the adding tens first strategy. When time is up, you'll be able to compare your work with mine. Go ahead and begin working. Okay, so let's look at this. We're going to do the number bonds, okay? We're going to take Don't from forget, 10. You can use leaky cubes as extra support if you need to. Keep working. All right, so. We're going to take 13 and we're going to break it down. We're going to break it apart into 10 because there's one 10 and three, three ones. Okay. Then I'm going to add my three and 26. So 26 plus three. Oh, I messed up. What should I have added instead of three? No. Pencils or markers. Oh. We're going to pause her because we're not ready because Miss Ray made a mistake. Instead of adding 26 and 3, my bad, we're going to add 10, okay? Because we can add 10. If I have 26 and I add 10 more, I get what? 3 10s and 6 ones is 36. Now I can add my 3. 36 plus 3 equals, let's add three more, 6, 7, 8, 9, 39. Now let's do our pencils up. Great work, mathematicians. Now is the time that you can compare your work with mine. Hmm. As 
you're comparing your work, take a moment to ask yourself, did you write a number bomb? Who did? Did you add the tense first? Who did after I did you write my mistake? two number sentences to show how you added? Did. And did you write your final answer? Oh, if no. you need to, use this time now to correct your work. So let me correct my work because I didn't write my final answer. Now let me ask you, friends, if I had added three first, would I still have gotten the same answer? Yes, I would have. So instead of it being 20 or 36 plus three, I would have said 26 and three, and that still would have been okay because we still would have had the same numbers. We just would have done them in a different order. But because we're working on adding 10, we need to add our 10 first, okay? So let's keep going. We fixed our answer. Great work, mathematicians. Let's do another one. All right, your board. I want you to work independently to solve 17 plus 13 on your personal whiteboards. Remember, you can use linking or math drawings as extra support if needed. You will have two minutes. Okay. I am Mark. Get set. Go. We can pause if we need to. We're going to break down 13 as we know how. We're going to break it into 110 and three ones. Then we're going to add 17 and 10. We're adding 10 first. So if I have 17, there's my 17. Keep on showing doors, mathematicians. 10 more. That means keep pushing. I have two tens and seven ones. Okay, now I'm ready to say 27 plus my three extra ones. If I don't know that, I can just add it over here. One, two, three. And I know that seven plus three make another 10. So my answer is gonna be 30. How about that, friends? Look at that, we even did it with time to spare. So remember, you're gonna add your 10 first. 17 plus 10, we added the two 10s to get 27. And we added our three ones, made another 10, and we got 30. We got time left over, look at us. If you still need time, keep going. I can even show it to you on here. There's my so one 30 seconds. Seven ones. I need to add another 10 to make 27. And then I add three more ones to make 30. Same thing we did here. Say bring it, you say back. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Great work, mathematicians. Go ahead and compare your work with mine. Let's Again, see. ask yourself, did you make a number bond? We made our number bond. Did you add the tens first? We did. Did you write two addition number sentences? We did. And did you write your final answer? We got it. Did Again, the same answer? if you need to, use this time to correct your work. We did it right this time. Give yourself a pat on the back. Yay. Great work, mathematicians. Well, now I want you to watch me solve this same problem, but this time I'm going to use a different strategy. Ooh, Here we strategy. Go. Make sure your eyes are watching. I'm going to write it too. Oh, she's doing the ones first. <laughs> well, mathematicians, take a moment to look at my work. Ask yourself, what's similar and what's different? 
we go ahead take a moment to think we still use the number bond just like she did and we still had the two problems but this time we didn't add the tens they first added we added the ones that first my number bond is broken apart differently or you may have been thinking that i added the ones first or you may have been thinking that i still got the same answer of 30. let's take a closer look at what i did so I still solved 17 plus 13. You may remember that before we wrote our number bond as 10 and 3. Here, I'm so we had planned to add the 10 first. But now I broke apart our number bond into 3 and 10. Because this time I want to add the 1s first. So I will add the 3. I still wrote my two addition number sentences, but this time I added the ones first, the three. I did 17 plus three to get 20, and then I added the 10. 20 plus 10 equals 30. This strategy, mathematician, is called the adding ones first strategy. What is it called? The adding ones first strategy. Okay. Yes, you got it. Mathematicians, I want to go back and solve 26 plus 13. But this time, I want you to use the adding ones first. Okay, so before we do that, let's look at this because I've written them side by side so you could see. This is the one we did first together, and this is the one she just did on her own. So let's look at it. You can see that when we broke apart 13, we still got 10 and three. We just put the three first, okay? We still have the 10 plus seven or 17 plus 10 here, we got 27. And then we said 27 plus three is 30. We added the 10 first. This time we added the ones first. See here, I added my 10 here. I still got the same answer. So even though our number bond is written differently. It's still the same number. And even though we wrote which one we added first differently, it's still the same answer. Okay, so let's go back, like she said, 26 plus 13, I think it was 13, and see if we add the ones first, if we get it differently. So let me put what we had before. This is what we did before. Okay, we're not going to do it this way this time. My marker squeaky today. Okay, so this is what we did before. This is adding the tens first. So I'm going to put tens first. To add twenty six plus thirteen. Twenty six plus thirteen equals something. Remember, we're still going to break it apart, but this time we're going to say three ones and one ten. Then we're going to add 26 plus three. Great. Oh, Let's she's too this. fast. 26 plus three first. What is 26 plus three? Let's read it on now. Oh, draw it out. 26. One, ten, two, tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 26. Let's add three more. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, we got 29. Now let's add 10 more. 29 plus 10 equals 39. Did we get the answer? 39, 39. We still had our 10 and our three. But look, we added differently. It's okay if you didn't get a chance to finish. Here, I have presented 26 and 13. As mathematicians, this time we want to add the ones first. Watch as I add my ones to 26. <laughs> mathematicians, what's 26 plus 3? 29. I think I heard you say 29. Finish adding everything. 
Now we still need to add 10. Well, mathematicians, what is 10 more than 29? 39. Bada boom, bada bang, you got it. Yes, 39. Let's show this using our personal whiteboards. How did we break apart 13? Three and 10, because we had one 10 and three ones. Yes, we broke apart 13 into three and 10. What did we add first, mathematicians? We added 26 plus three, that's our ones. Yes, we added the three first, 26. And three more is 29. That's right, 29. What do we do next? Then we added 10. You got it. We added 10. What's 29 plus 10? 39. Mm -hmm. 29 plus 10 equals 39. Great work, mathematicians. If you need to take a moment to either finish your work or correct your work, go ahead and do that now. <laughs> so mathematicians, you learned a new strategy today. It's called the adding ones first strategy. Great work. Well, mathematicians, now it's time for the problem set. Your must-do problems are 1B, 1F, 2A, and 2G. Remember to do your best work for 10 minutes. Here's a cheer for all your hard work. It's called the pop, pop, boom cheer. It goes like this. Pop, 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 pop boom. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 All right, friends, let's go and look at our work today. Now, let's read the directions because guess what? The directions tell you what to do and how to solve it. Let's look. Solve using number bonds. What's that mean? It means that we have to show a number bond. Okay, this time add the tens first. Write the two number sentences to show what you did. Now you're going to do 1B. I'm going to show you 1A. Okay, so let's look. 11 plus 14. This is what it wants you to do, okay? It wants you to first break apart. And I'll let you choose. You can break apart 11 or 14 on this one. Well, you're not doing this one on your work, but you can choose. I would always choose the smallest number to break apart. It's easier. So I'm going to break a part of it into 10. There's one 10 and one because there's one one. Okay, break it into tens and ones. Don't make it difficult. Tens and ones. Okay, now this tells me I'm going to add my tens first. On B, you're going to add your tens first. So I'm going to circle 14 and 10 because that's what I'm doing first. 14 plus 10 equals, I don't know, draw it out. Here's 14, add 10 more. I have two 10s and four ones, it's 24. See how easy it is when you draw it out? Now am I done? No, because now I still have to add my one. So I'm gonna take 24 and add one more to get 25. Now, friends, on B, number 1B, this one right here, I need to see your number bond where you put it apart. I need to see where you added your tens first. I need to see where you added your ones. And I need to see your final answer. Okay? This right here is the work I need to see. Now that's not the answer to 1B, 
but that's all the different types of work I need to see. I need to see the number bond. I need to see the two sentences. I need to see the final answer. Okay. So on number one, you're adding 10 first. Let's look at one F. Ooh, you're still adding 10 first. Okay. So let's, since we've already done one of those, let's look at E so we can see. 26 plus, oh, we just did 26 plus 13. We've done that one a million times. Let's see what's above it. 26 plus 14, let's do that one. 26 plus 14. Now, which one of those am I gonna break down? The smaller number, 14. I'm gonna break it into tens and ones. I have one 10, four ones, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my 10, 26 plus 10. If you don't know, draw it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 26, add 10 to it. Three tens, six ones, 36. Now I'm not done, I'm gonna add my four. Add four more. Guess what? Six plus four is 10. So I have four tens now. My answer is 40. Okay. You're doing one B, one F, add tens first. Let's look at two. Solve using number bonds. This time, add the ones first. Write the two number sentences that show what you did. You're doing 2A and G. Let's look at 2B. 17 plus 13 equals something. I'm going to break apart. Remember, that's a less. 110, three ones. I'm adding my ones first, so I'm going to circle my three and my 17. And I'm going to add those together. I don't know that. I'm going to draw it out. Seven, and I'm gonna add three more. One, two, three. I know that seven plus three is 10. So that makes that, one. oh, let's try that again because something happened to my marker there. Two tens make 20. Not done, because now I gotta add my 10. 20 plus 10 more equals 30. Okay, you're adding your ones first on 2A and 2G. All right, let's look at one more. Let's come down here where it's closer to G and see what we got. Uh, let's do F, okay, let's do F. 12 plus 27 equals something. I'm gonna break apart my 12 because it's the smaller of the two numbers into 110, two ones, I'm going to add 2 and 27. Sorry, I don't know what 27 and 2 is. Draw it out. 20. Seven. I'm going to add two more. Seven, eight, nine. I get 29. Not done because I got to add 10 more. 29 plus 10 more, draw 10. Now I've got three tens and nine ones, 39. Okay, for one B and F, you're gonna add the tens place for, or the tens first. On two A and G, you're gonna add the ones first, okay? Make sure that I see the following on your work a number bond, two map sentence or number sentences that show me where you added 10 first or ones first, okay? And your final answer. So it's three things, number bond, two number sentences, final answer. Remember your number bond, you're breaking it down into tens and ones. Don't make it complicated. Tens and ones. How many tens and ones are in that number? Okay. Don't forget you have to do your exit ticket. 
So make sure you get the exit ticket turned in. Make sure you're showing me your work. Number bond, two number sentences, final answer. Better see it, okay? And then turn it in to me and I'll see you guys on our next lesson. Bye friends.